Right, this little video is about how to write in Hebrew. Um, the pen I'm using, don't be put off by it, um, it's a calligraphy pen, but I'm using it because it means you can see what I'm doing. You can do this with any old pen. Um, firstly, the square script, which is the, um, the Aramaic script that Hebrew is written in. Um, Aleph, we can write like that. So, one line down and then that's our Aleph. Bet has got a rounded top, a straight line underneath. Make sure it's sort of a boxish shape with the one side missing. It must have a little projection at the end here at the bottom. Bet. Gimel, we put an angle like that and then coming out like so or you can make it more straight like that Gimel Dalet the defining thing of a Dalet is that it has a corner there are two ways of doing it you can either do it with an overhang like so right it must have a sharp corner on the inside or you can do it like that so the distinguished characteristic of Dalet is it has a sharp corner or you can come in and down in one stroke. That's Dalet. He is formed the two ways of doing it. You can either do a rounded shape like that with a line. It must have a gap up here. Or you can do a Dalet with the line. And it must have the gap. So there are two ways of doing the letter He. Vav is just a little notch and a straight line coming down. Or you can do a slight curve at the top and down. Or you can just do a straight line. That's a Vav. Zayin, a line and straight down. Or you can do it on an angle and straight down. Or, if you wish, you could give it a broken shape like that. Zayin. Chet is like our He. We can come down. And then this line here must meet it like so. There's a slight variation where this line projects above it that's also permissible and you can do it with the sharp corner on this side as well if you wish Chet Tet is quite straightforward there are several ways of doing it one down sharp corner and up and curve that's one way of doing it the other way is to do it round like so. The letter Yod is just like that. It's small, right? Or it can be, it's a very small letter. Kaf, it's important it's round. Comes in, round, and down. Right. It needs to be it needs to have some body to it. It can't be too short. Right? It mustn't be like that. That's too short. Don't do it like that. It must have some depth to it. As must the bit. Round at top, round at the bottom. This is very important. And that distinguishes it from the bit, which is square at the bottom. Lamet is quite straightforward. It's straight down, straight across and then round and in like so so down up and in like that that's lamed there are various ways of forming the air and the mem the fastest way is to make a triangle like that that's open and then put a little ear onto it here so we can do it round and in with the ear on it like that that's mem oh. Do it again. That's the sharp mem. 
and this is the rounded man. It should have a sharp corner here. Nun, it can be rounded on top, it must be sharp on the bottom, and it can be like that, equal lengths. The reason why it must be short is it's the same as bet, but bet is longer. <clears throat> and you can also do it with a longer bottom like that. Samech is quite straightforward. It's just a line across and then come around and up. So it's, it must have a round, it must be round at the bottom, not square. Nayin, like so, that's our Nayin. I'll do that again. It's just a little, a little line coming down at an angle like that, and then a line coming to attach to it. Nayin. P is quite straightforward. It's like a, a chaf, like that, and then you come here and you give it a little hook in the middle. If you're feeling so inclined, you can be more ornamental about it. That's pe. Pe at the end of a word, this curved line here becomes limp and hangs down. And so it hangs down like that. And that's pe at the end of a word. Tzadi. Straightforward. It's like that and then a line coming in to meet it. So an angle, and then a line coming in to meet it. Tidy at the end of a word, once again this here becomes limp, and it hangs down, and we do it like that, and then this line still comes in and meets it. This is the final tzadi at the end of a word. Same as this, but the, this line here is not tucked up, as it is here, it's hanging down straight, like so. Kuf. It's got a shape like so, and then a line coming down at the front. No touching here, there's a gap here and a gap here. If you do it without the gap, it's still okay, um, for handwriting anyway. It wouldn't be okay if you were writing a holy text, you'd have to keep it with the gap here and there. But it's quite recognizable as a kuf if you join them up. A resh must have a rounded corner. So a resh has got a rounded corner. Daled is sharp. Daled and resh. This is what distinguishes them is the roundness of the resh. The resh is round. And it must be reasonably long on top. Otherwise it can be confused with a vav which is short on top. So Vav is short, Resh is long. Shin, there are various ways of doing it. The easiest is straight down like that, and then two arms, one, two. That's Shin. You can also do it by making a big U, and then putting an arm into the middle of it. Um, or you can make a flat shape like that and put an arm in the middle of it. So the various ways of doing a shin. Up to you, really. And the quickest way is to make a V and put a line in the middle. And then the final letter we're looking at is tough, which is this here. So it's a resh, and it's got a little leg that flicks out with a foot. We also have um, a ligature, a lamed, and, a, and uh, so it looks like this. And that is L. L. It's an abbreviation for L. 
So that's our straightforward square strip, script. script. Um, when I'm writing, I tend to use a different script, which is the Rashi script, which is this. And I'm going to give it to you here. Aleph, which looks like so. So this is our Aleph. Bet, which is a th like a three. Gimel, which is the same. Daled, which is a straightforward shape like that. He, which is like that. Vav, like that. Zayin, like that. Chet, which is the same, like that. Tet, is like that. Yud, the same. Kaf, the same. Lamed, slightly simpler, it's like that with a loop at the bottom. The difference here is a very big difference in the mem. A mem looks a bit like the letter N in an uns uns unseal. Um, the final mem, like that. Noon, like that. Final noon, like that. Oh, I didn't give you a final noon here, I forgot. Um, there's a final noon where it hangs on limp and that just looks like so. Um, Samech is like the Mem but it has a little line attached to it. Nayin is more rounded but otherwise it's the same as our Ayin as before. P is pretty much the same. Final P pretty much the same. Tzadi looks like that. Very different. Final Tzadi looks like that. Also very different. Kuf the same. Resh Shin looks like this. The way I do it like that and then tough is the same so this is the rabbinic script um, also known as Rashi script this is the Hebrew alphabet for writing when you are writing yourself um, just taking notes and things and there's also a cursive form um, used um, in Israel a modern cursive form. This is the rabbinic cursive form, um, which is slightly different.